Yes, my name is Ivan McFarland, and I became a Beaverbrook Scholar in 1945. I was here for four years, from 49. And then I, I got an overseas scholarship in 1951, and I was in London from 51 to 52, and that's when I met Lord Beaverbrook when I was over there. No, no, I was the only one in my family that actually finished high school, only one in seven, and nobody in my family had ever gone to university, or in my community had ever gone to university, so uh, it, that gave me an opportunity to, to go to university, and, to, and my whole life, I had dreamed of getting out of the situation I was in, backwoods, New Brunswick, which I hated, but I, that, that gave me an opportunity to escape. My, uh, my impression of Lord Beaverbrook was a, he was a, a, such a small man compared to what I thought he was, because to me he's a big man, because he's only five foot six uh, in height, but sort of rotund, and sort of a jolly man, and very friendly. And he invited the Beaverbrook scholars who were in London at that time to his home out in Surrey uh, for, uh, for dinner. He didn't, he stayed for dinner, but he left immediately after, and his granddaughter, Lady Jane Campbell, uh, took over as hostess. And, and we didn't have any alcohol until after he left. I don't know whether it had any significance or not. <laughs> and then, and, and of course, then to have a chance to go to London later on, and the other scholarship was also wonderful. That, uh, that's sort of where I got the bug to travel, and I, that's what I do since I retired, I travel. Anyway, that was, that was about all. That was the only time I actually had a conversation with him. There were other functions in, during that year where he would be there, but uh, it, it, he would be mixing with uh, his kind, and I was mixing with the students. I'd never had a chance to talk to him very much. But uh, anyway, it was interesting, and I was impressed with his house. My first experience of somebody who had a, a home theater, a uh, 30-seat 30, 30 theater, in his home. It also found out that he, he, he enjoyed movies, and apparently he appeared in movies, in, in some movies, small bit parts that he enjoyed. I, down days, I suppose we'd call them home movies, but this was in the, four, this was in the early 50s, and uh, it was quite something to see that.